Hey everybody, I'm Lindsay Adler and this is a photo deconstruction. In my photo deconstructions, I select one of my images and I show you the elements that work together to help me create that final piece. And today I have an image that is super dramatic and really surreal. And let's take a look. All right, so for this photograph, uh, the initial inspiration was that I had seen uh, a painting, a digital painting that actually looked like uh, a goddess against these really dramatic cloudy skies. And so I wanted to do my beauty fashion interpretation of that. So I went in search of a cloud background. Now for beauty shots, for close up shots, I often will print out my own backgrounds on canvas prints and then put that behind the subject. But I knew I wanted this to be something full length. And so I went in search of these backgrounds and I actually found that Denny's had uh, beautiful cloud backgrounds. I got two of these cloud backgrounds and I put them in a V. So this would give me more width to work with. I worked with a creative team who did the hair, the makeup, and the styling. And I wanted something for the styling that would give me a lot of movement, something that would almost look like angelic angel wings. And this is what the stylist provided me. So I knew that this was going to take up a lot of space in the scene, so I would definitely need to have those two backgrounds in order to try to get it to fit on the background. All right, so as you might be able to tell, there's actually quite a bit of production that went into the shot. So let's take a look at the behind the scenes image. In the behind the scenes here, you can see that there are actually four lights at play. Now, fundamentally, let's, let's actually start with the background. You can see that the background I have here, it's those two Denny's backgrounds. Uh, the color is drastically different, but I'm gonna show you how we got there. So first of all, we have our main light. And the main light is a three foot octobox. Basically, that's the light that's going to be lighting our subject's face, but that's just normal portrait light. I need something more dramatic. So the next light that I have is actually this overhead large umbrella with diffusion. That's a top-down light that lights her head. It kicks a little bit of light onto the background and also it'll kiss the top of the dress. So it, it's just this kind of glowing heavenly top-down light. All right, but then I need a fill light because right now there's a light on the face and a light overhead, but nothing to light the front of the dress. So that's what we have the large umbrella with diffusion over on the left-hand side. It's just to the left of the camera and it's going to help me lift up the shadows. I, I want the picture and have a lot of, to have a lot of detail on the front, uh, but I don't want the, the overall moodiness and glow from the heavens above to be overpowered. So that's why I wanted another light so I could control how much fill that I had. And then there's one more light right here you can see another light, which is a 10 degree grid, basically a focus light. And the reason that's there is I wanted it to look kind of like God's lighting, a beam of light coming down from behind the subject. Uh, like the sky is opening up to her. So I could maybe fake a little bit of this in post if I wanted to flare out something from overhead, but then I wouldn't see the highlight on the face. So I, I wanted to make sure I, I added that light and it's actually boomed out up over top of the background. So this is the raw set that I'm working with. And this is the photo I came up with. So let's just point out the elements of each light. So first of all, the uh, Octobox is what's lighting her face. Then the top down light is what's giving the light on the top of the uh, dress here. That's the large umbrella with diffusion. The 10 degree grid is what's lighting from the top left hand side of this frame and lighting her face and giving that, that God's light. And then in the front, so that this dress didn't fall to shadow, is another large umbrella with diffusion filling in the shadow. So that's what each piece of these uh, works together to create. Now, this is actually a photo I created during one of my photography workshops. I run photo workshops out of my studio in New York, and I was demonstrating this scene for my subjects or for my students. So when I was shooting this, I was having the my my team throw the dress up in the air and I actually only shot about four or five frames. I was just there to, to teach. And so my point is I ended up compositing some things together. I didn't shoot long enough to get the elements right all at once. So let me show you where the images start out. Um, now just a disclaimer, most of my photos don't need this much retouching. I don't do this much compositing. I try to get as much in camera as possible. This one I did need to tweak it a little bit. So straight out of camera look like this. Um, now that's not actually in reality what I was looking at. As I was shooting tethered, my students are watching as I'm tethered into Lightroom. As I'm shooting tethered, 
I'm making changes. So I'm in Lightroom and I'm increasing the contrast and I'm changing the white balance. I warmed up the white balance and then I added a lot of magenta in the tint. And then I added some contrast and I really popped the clarity. So as I'm shooting, this is not the file I'm looking at. The file I'm actually looking at in Lightroom looks a little bit more like this. So you can see the, the contrast and you can see the uh, purplish, pinkish tones, but it's not quite what I had envisioned. First of all, obviously I want to extend the sides of the canvas. So uh, I shot a plate. I shot a plain shot of the backgrounds when my model wasn't there. And then I took those and extended them to the sides. So it made it easier on myself. And all I had to do is cut out the edges of the fabric to be able to extend that on the, the sides. Uh, but unfortunately, I don't love on the right hand side that you can't see her hand or the, the fabrics obscuring it. So I grabbed another shot, another piece of the fabric, and I overlaid it there. So the core pieces that I kept were the left hand side of the dress, her face and her hand, but I swapped out the bottom part of her body, her arm and the dress on the right, and extended the fabric. Typically, I tried to get it closer in camera, uh, but again, I only shot a handful of images. So this was straight out of camera, but this is what I'm looking at in Lightroom, and then this is what I ended up in post-processing. So the uh, clouds on the edges are what I composited in using the uh, plate that I shot of the background, and then I went in and I took a different photo for the right hand side and bottom part of the frame. And then I just kept messing around with contrast. Can I add contrast? Do I darken down certain parts of the frame, lighten up certain parts? And so I'm just lightening and darkening all over the place. And this is what I ended up with. And I think it's really surreal, like she's a, a goddess or an angel that's descended from heaven. And I, it's, it's even better than what I had hoped for. I'm Lindsay Adler, and I really hope you found this photo deconstruction insightful. If you'd like to see more videos, if you'd like to see more of these photo deconstructions, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel.